Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to set up a schedule on your Blink camera that could be Blink X-T1, X-T2 or the old X-T, I mean that's the X-T1, uh, yeah X-T1, X-T2, whatever. Um, so why would you do that? Uh, this is mainly to prevent false alerts. So if you're working from home during the day or children are at home or whatever. So yeah, when anybody is at home and it would trigger false alerts, you don't want that. So you enter a time for that. And also if you have times when a lot of false alerts are triggered by other uh, reasons, let's say during the day you have uh, this area is affected by sun and uh, shade from leaves and so on and this can trigger a lot of false alerts so how to prevent that we click on blink xt1 here i mean basically in the top middle and then we have uh, scheduling we click on that and we have uh, when, when we have an old schedule and we want to get rid of that, we click on the uh, trash bin icon. So it's empty anyway. We can uh, start from scratch. We, uh, we start with the plus sign on the right top. And we say, we, we choose either to arm first or disarm. We start with arm makes sense. And we want to start arming in the afternoon or evening. And we pull the uh, watch to close to eight o'clock a little bit near yeah, quarter to eight and we want to arm it every day and then we click on save on the right top so as you can see it's armed now for every day but it's still 24 7 because we don't have a stop so we again click on the plus sign and we put a disarm click on the left top to choose disarm we want to disarm in the morning, let's say maybe 8 o'clock when the sun comes out and causes the false alerts. And of course we want to disarm it also every day. Click on save and as you can see there's now a gap between 8 o'clock in the morning and 8 o'clock in the evening where it, where it won't trigger any alerts. So now we have created a schedule which starts at yeah in the evening and is active every day uh, till yeah eight o'clock in the morning basically and during the day it's off. I mean yeah the camera won't trigger any alarms or yeah. So the question is what can you do uh, if you want to change that? I mean you can delete you can click on this delete icon and delete everything and start from scratch uh, but there are easier ways unfortunately we cannot just pull on these triggers up and move them up and down as you can see there's no way to do anything with that but you can click on them and then you are on the like say we click on the eight o'clock thing which means that's the disarm time and we can move it let's say to yeah, a little bit later maybe if it uh, so 8 30 and then save again and you can see it moves from 8 to 8 30 and same thing with the arm time again so uh, and you can also have multiple arm times and uh, disarm times so you don't, uh, it's not limited to one uh, uh, arm time and disarm time per day. You can have uh, multiple, I don't know how many, let's say we want to have one additional on Sunday during the day. So we set an arm time at nine o'clock in the morning on Sunday. And as you can see, we have to, of course, we have to put a disarm time let's say in the afternoon disarm 
3 p.m. also Sunday we click on save and you can see there's uh, yeah it, I mean that's a little bit bad uh, I have yeah so that looks a little bit better probably uh, as you can see you can have more than one you can also have different times for every day and so on so it's quite flexible so there are actually two trash bin icons or delete icons when we use the one on this schedule weekly schedule overview it will delete everything when we click on yes it will delete everything but we can just delete a single uh, arm or this arm so but we have to click on one first let's say we click on the one here in the afternoon on Sunday we delete that and as you can see now it has changed on Sunday and we can also delete the arm time in 11 o'clock in the morning so it is now back that it is the same on every day so you don't have to start from scratch everything it's uh, quite flexible and as far as i know there's just the weekly schedule there's no no other schedule no daily no monthly no nothing it's just the weekly when we go back to the screen here uh, we still see the uh, scheduling on and off basically uh, on means it is limited to the schedule which you have provided when you put it off it will be active 24 7 so I turn it on again and here uh, as well I forgot something really important on this side now you can see on the uh, bottom on the right side it says disarmed so don't worry about that this is not permanently disarmed this is just because of the schedule I mean when you have when you don't have activated uh, schedule you can arm and disarm manually I mean even when you have a, a, a schedule you can still override the arm and disarm manually but of course on the next uh, timer event from the schedule it will be overwritten of course and there is one more thing when we turn it on hope it works yeah, takes some time. Yeah, then I hope you noticed uh, on the right top corner there's uh, like a uh, person running, and that also means like arm or disarm. This uh, it is called motion detection, but it's the, basically it's armed or disarmed. But what's the difference on the right button? Uh, this trigger means uh, it is the whole system and the thing on the right top it is for every camera unfortunately I just have one camera here um, so basically you can have the system armed on the bottom right but you can disable motion alert for one camera which I do now as you can see uh, now it's grayed out so that means actually the whole system is turned on but there's no motion detection on this one camera which does of course doesn't make sense because I just have one camera but it's just uh, to know if you have more than one camera. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, thanks for watching and See you next time.